Hello and welcome to AC1110 Accounting Fundamentals. My name is Bob Steele. My contact information is here with the email address, the phone number. You're welcome to use those as needed. We also have a office hours which will be down here. The office hours are not mandatory, but they are a good time to ask questions if you have questions. And those will be held at Monday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. And the phone number will be different. It's a conference call number rather than uh, the phone number up here. So conference call number and it does have a conference call code so you call that in it'll ask you for a code you'll put the code in there that will allow multiple people to be on the same line and we could talk together in that format we also have a url address as needed so the url address if you click on this icon you'll be taken to an area where you can put your name and log into the discussion meeting and if we're in there at the same time then i can share my screen and we can work through problems together in that format so this is going to be a very handy software. I do recommend using it with other instructors and tutors and uh, any, any other students as well if you are able to do so in an online environment. It is effective to do so. It's also stuff that's used on the business side as well for online meetings a lot. You can also contact other students up here if you go to the navigation tab. Participants, you'll see a list of all the students in the course. And if you want to contact people and see if you want to set up meetings to get together and talk to each other, that could be useful. You could share contact information here and you could use programs like uh, Skype or joinme.com to set up online meetings with each other as well, which can be uh, effective. Other tool we have here is that the, there will be a lot of video links, both working problems and lectures. Now, if any of those links are slow or they're not running as fast as you would hope, or if you want to go to one site that has all of the links at one time so that you can basically just go there and watch videos on, on the go, we have these two websites here. Most of the links will be housed on this website. So if you click on this icon or if you save this uh, link and go to it, then uh, they will be housed here and they'll, they'll basically look like this. You'll go to this page. You'll go to the home page, which will be here. And this will house most of the links for this class and a couple of your other accounting classes as well. So if you scroll to the Charter College drop down and then go to the Accounting Fundamentals, that will take you to the page with most of the links for this class. These are just going to be hyperlinks that will take you down to the actual videos underneath. Most of the links within the course are on this page. Now, if this page loads slowly because there's a lot of videos on this page, then Give it some time to load. Also try to open it up in a different browser if it's if it's loading slowly for you. And or if you want to watch it on the go and this is not booting up as quick as it should, then we've also uploaded these onto the YouTube channel. So they might not be quite as well organized on the YouTube channel, but we're trying to get them organized on the YouTube channel. So if you wanted to watch them there too, you can go onto the YouTube channel and that should open up this area. And once again, most of the information should be here as well so if you scroll down to charter college and you go into ac 1110 then you'll have a playlist of of most of the information that will be included in, including uh, videos for problem example problems as well as lecture videos so i'm going to scroll back to the moodle rooms other resource you want to get going as soon as you can will be called connect so this is called moodle rooms here <laughs> and then we're going to log in also to another software called uh, McGraw Hills Connect. So McGraw Hill, and that's going to be this icon, is the publisher. Connect is the program that McGraw Hill publishes. So if you click on this icon, you'll have to log in first. Once you're logged in, then it'll be the same every time they're forward. So if you see this icon down here, that's the student registration. So if you click on this, it'll give you a video that will show you the registration process, and you can walk through that. And once you register it one time, that's it. You'll, that's all you need to do. And then every time you click on it from that point forward, it'll be very easy to log in. But make sure to get in there that first time. If you have any problems with it, let me know because uh, I want to make sure to get this set up as soon as possible. After that, at the, after that first time, you'll click on this. You'll go to this icon here. Then you'll always click on connect down here. And then you will see uh, this information and this will be the connect page. Once you're in the connect page, it'll look like this. You can hit the drop down for week one 
and you'll see the information. This will basically be the homework that will be within Connect in this section. I'm going to go back up to the cookie trail up top. The next thing we could look at are our resources. We have the syllabi, we got the homework grid, we got the welcome letter. I'll let you open the homework grid and the welcome letter. I'm going to take a quick look at the syllabi. So if we open up the syllabi, it will look like this. And once again, we have the contact information if you want to print that out. Course description, this will be an introduction to accounting. So we'll go over the fundamentals of financial accounting. There are no prerequisites. This will be the first class in the accounting cycle. And the learning objectives, I'll let you take a look at those as we go. It's going to be an introduction to the accounting classes, instruction material. We will be using Connect. So that's the first thing you want to do. There is an ebook in Connect. It's a very nice ebook. It's in Connect, however. So you want to get in there. There's ways to print it, there's ways to save it as a PDF. So you do not need internet connection to do that. And I highly recommend looking at some of the instructional videos in order to learn how to do that and make sure you're using these resources effectively. You can watch them offline and read the book offline if you, you save the information. We have the resources down here. We've got the instructional method and uh, the topics. I'll let you look through the topics. Do you want to point out the categories here? Uh, we have the 21% for discussion. Quizzes are 33%. Assignments, 33%. Homework, 13%. So the idea here that I want to point out is that the quizzes are worth 33%, which is a large percent. Quizzes, midterm, and final worth 33%. So you want to do as well as possible. But I just want to point out that there's a big amount of points in the discussion forms, the assignments, and the homework. If you turn in the discussion forms, the assignments, and the homework, then you will pick up a large part of the grade and you have much more control to do that. So do your best to turn in these items and that will give you as much cushion as possible in order to do as well as you can on the quiz. If you do not do as well as you can on the quiz, which you have less control over, you should be able to pick up the grade a lot by picking up full credit on the discussion forms and as much as the credit as possible on the assignments and the homework. Going to go back up to the uh, cookie trail and back into Moodle. Next item is course announcements. Any announcements that we have in the course, we will put here. So this is basically just the instructor posting. You can't really reply to it. So anything I have will be posted here. This should also uh, send the post to your email account at the student account as well. We've got the instructor virtual office. So if you got any questions that you want to ask the entire class, then put it in the instructor virtual office. If you have questions that are just for me, that are personal, that the rest of the class don't need to know about, then you can use the email address. This is kind of like raising your hand in class. So it is helpful for me if there's one, if there's something that I can answer one time for everybody, then you can just put it in here and I can, I can answer it one time in that case. And if on the other hand, of course, if it's something that's, it's uh, restricted to one individual, then an email would probably be better. And then we have the introduction here. So if you go into the introduction, this is the first thing you're going to want to do in terms of activity. And you want to share, in, share uh, introduce yourself, share what you hope to gain from the class. So you just want to select sub reply here, put a reply. So here's my reply. And that's what uh, we have, something, something similar to that. And it doesn't have to be quite as long as that, of course. But uh, put in the reply what you expect to gain from the course. This is what I call the cookie trail up top. So we note that we are currently in home, my courses, miscellaneous, the date, this is the course name, and we are in introduction. So I'm going to go back to this tab in the cookie trail. That will take us back to the front page, and then we'll scroll down, and that's basically everything that will be included before we start week one. And then we'll start week one here and take a look at the week one introduction in order to see how the weeks will be laid out.